In this video we're going to talk about Coulomb's law and again, but this time we're focused on how we use proportionality uh, to look at a law or to examine a law in more detail. So when we have some sort of law like Coulomb's law, force, the electric force, is equal to the constant times Q1, one charge, two charge, over R squared, and we want to figure out how these variables are affecting this overall result, we can use the proportionality to effectively eliminate or to effectively ignore the parts of the equation that we're not changing and focus on what changing one variable will do to the overall result. So for example, let's say we're going to change Q2, so Q2 is going to change. Then we can sort of ignore all this other stuff and write this as a proportionality statement. Now based on this proportionality statement, we can see there's a linear relationship between Fe and Q2, which means that if I plotted Fe and I plotted Q2, since it's to the power one, the resulting graph would be a straight line. I can also do problems where I change Q2, but I keep everything else the same, and I can see quantitatively what effect that will have on the force. So for example, because it's a linear relationship, I can set up the proportionality in a linear way where F1 goes to F or Q1 directly and F2 goes to Q2. That's all pretty straightforward for a linear relationship like that, but let's take a look at what that looks like if we have, say, the relationship between force and R squared here. So let's say we're interested in these two variables. So we're going to assume that the charges involved in this force are remaining the same, and we're going to use this proportionality statement to examine how the radius or the distance between, the separation distance between the charges can affect the overall force that they're experiencing. So that's the resulting proportionality. I change from the equal sign to the proportional sign, and then I can ignore all the stuff that I'm not currently looking at and focus on the relationship I am looking at. That's the point. If I plot that, then I would expect an asymptotic curve. But what's interesting about the proportionality statement is if I, instead of plotting that, I actually plot the actual proportionality statement, I treat this all like one variable x, then this results in a straight line. And this is one way that we can actually verify this proportionality statement. Finally, with this proportionality statement, we can use it to solve a problem like this. A pair of charges are experiencing a force of 15 newtons. What is the when the distance between the charges is tripled, determine the new force. So I can use it to predict a resulting change on force when I only change the one variable of interest. Here I said the, when the distance between the charges, sorry, distance between the charges is tripled. So again, the original law, F equals K, Q, Q over R squared. I'm interested in the relationship between F and R squared, so I can say Fe is proportional to 1 on R squared. That means if I want to make a proportionality statement or a ratio, if F1 is on the top on this side, then R1 needs to go on the bottom and needs to be squared. Similarly, if F2 is on the bottom here, because this relationship is inverse, that means R2 is going to go on the top here, and don't forget that it's squared. So I'm saying my original force was 15 newtons. I don't know my final force. And my radius is tripled. That means that R2 is equal to 3 times R1. So I can substitute that. Always substitute in brackets so that you don't forget to square that number. And what I can see on my right hand side here is that I get 9R1 squared over R1 squared. And so I can solve this equation for F2. I think it's 1.444, but I'll just make sure. Oh, it's going to be 1.6, yeah, okay. Six, six, seven newtons. And so 
again, I can qualitatively see how one variable will affect the other variable while ignoring the rest of the equation. I can use it to quantitatively predict how changing the variable can um, affect the overall force. Or finally, I can use it to predict what relationship I could graph to get a straight line given the data, and that allows me to verify that relationship with actual experimental data. So there's some uh, Coulomb's Law of Proportionality. I'm just going to check down here and see if I have one more example. I do, and this is going to be one where the, for, where the charge is doubled. Actually, I'm going to just hold that for a secondary video so that these don't get too long.